Sagittarius, you may be too sexy for your own damn good here with this Ten of Spears and this Strength card here at the bottom of the deck. You have plenty of options right about now with the Seven of Cups. We see the Page of Cups here, the King of Swords, and the King of Coins. Many options. Many options to choose from as far as love, job, work, school opportunities here. The Nine of Cups here in the reverse. Being clarified by this Ten of Cups. You being selfish and happy about it. You doing what is best for you right now. Okay? All these hoes in different area codes. Sagittarius, would you rather be a young man's fool with this page of cups and the six of spears in the reverse or an old man's baby here with this king of coins and the fool, this king of swords and the page of coins? Sagittarius family, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe. I upload almost daily, so hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Reach out to me for a personal reading. I'm available on Instagram or email for that. If you cannot get a personal reading, no big deal. Make sure to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placement videos and or your partner's right? To see what's going on with you and them. Sagittarius family, you have the 10 of spears, which is a heavy burden. Cycles coming, closing, going to an end here. And maybe you have all these options after moving, while you're traveling, on your next journey here. Maybe you're dealing with a Leo individual or you have Leo in your chart, but this is you having the strength to carry these heavy burdens. You got it. This is you walking with these good looks, Okay, with this charm, <clears throat> with this intelligence, right? And not trying to be trapped right now. Another eight here with the eight of swords. Not trying to feel stuck, trapped in your mind about all these options that you have. The knight of cups. People are coming to lock you down, Sagittarius. What are you doing? You working out? You praying? You get you spending time outside, getting in the sun? You're, feel, you're looking good. You're feeling good. You're happier here with this Ten of Cups. This is happiness coming. And then we have two tens, the Ten of Fire and the Ten of Water. As within, so without. This is working hard and playing hard. This is you looking good and your energy has changed. Again, with that Strength card, these high vibrations, eights, abundance, blessings coming in. We see a new lover coming in. Maybe somebody younger with this Page of Cups. Maybe a little bit immature in the way that they're communicating or coming at you. But you got somebody coming at you. That's very ego-driven, right? Coming in with these offers, even though they may not be offering very much or they may be empty. Excuse my alarm. Um, this person's going to stop at nothing to try to get at you with this page of cups. We see this knight of cups here. This person really want to give you this love offer, but this is you got some new person, young person coming. That's about to be all over you, Sagittarius. Drop this person's sign if you know. It could be a water sign, could be another fire sign like you, but they're, they're seriously trying to hunt you down and lock you down. You're in their crosshairs and they don't see anybody but you. But here you are, Sagittarius, with these three of wands here, clarifying the seven of cups. You have many options here and not being <laughs> fooled by that, or not being disillusioned in the world, traveling. Closing up, tying up these loose ends. You have Some of you guys are keeping your options open because you're moving around a lot. You got a lot going on. So you're not ready to commit to a relationship. And some of these people you're going to have to walk away from with this Eight of Cups. Just leave behind because maybe emotionally they need too much. Maybe physically they need too much. And you got things to do here. You're chasing the bag. We see no commitments coming. We see this King of Swords here being clarified by this Page of Swords, which to me is, again, somebody coming in, offering you a commitment, but this King of Swords is in the reverse. Libra energy could be any air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this is especially in the reverse, somebody who is highly intelligent, right? Very logical, but they're a liar. So this makes me think that they're coming in <clears throat> to talking about a commitment, but they're going to end up breadcrumbing you or playing some type of games here. Again, we see the no commitment here with this 10 of coins. So you're not committing. They're not committing. Maybe playing some games here. Again, trying to get you to let, let your guard down here. Sagittarius energy here with the nine of spears in the reverse. They're trying. Somebody's coming in, an older person, or maybe they're your age with this king of swords, but they're lying about what it is that they really want, their intentions. They're just trying to get you to let your guard down so they can breadcrumb you here. Four of coins in the reverse, keeping something close to their chest. Knight of coins, 
a solid and stable offer, but it's coming not at all in this particular case, very slowly. Again, this King of Swords coming in to breadcrumb you and establish a very weak foundation based on the breadcrumbing, the mind games here with the King of Swords. And then they'll be putting you on the back burner, four of swords, sleeping on you and feeling like they can come back and forth between you and somebody else. So this King of Swords is just for Netflix and chilling, period, point blank. Then we got this King of Coins. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe some of you are on the Sagittarius Capricorn cusp. But here comes this King of Coins, which speaks to stability, financial, emotional stability here. This person is very logical, but also empathetic, has a high moral compass. This is husband material here. Then we have the Fool card, Gemini energy. This speaks to starting new journeys. This person wanted to start something new. But with this Fool in reverse, they're not trying to fool you or play games here. But this is not somebody in a rush to start something either. While they're looking for something new, solid, and stable, they're not just going to jump into anything. They're going to take their time with this Wheel of Fortune. Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio energy. They're going to take their time, make sure that your actions match their words. And they're going to show you that through their actions that they mean what they say. Temperance here in the reverse, big Sagittarius energy. They're impatiently waiting for their partner, but they're not going to rush into anything because they want to make sure that they really know you. Pisces energy here with the moon in reverse, that there aren't any secrets, that there aren't any games. This person you will be meeting during cancer season, chariot energy here, cancers on the board. But this speaks to emotionally moving on. This person is not necessarily trying to bring any extra baggage emotionally. They would like to move on, spend time traveling. This I feel like this is an older established person, male or female here. The magician in the reverse, though. This person's going is going to be very slow to make a choice on somebody before committing until they know exactly who it is that they're dealing with. Maybe it's after doing some traveling, making sure that some, because some traveling with people will really expose a lot about them living with people. This person is going to make sure that you're not deceiving them and vice versa. You need to make sure that this person's not deceiving you by spending a lot of money on you, gifts, maybe traveling to try to deceive you here. The Six of Swords. But I really get that this person would just like to move on to calmer waters, leave the past behind and start some brand new passion opportunity with you. But for some of you, this King of Pentacles is just as manipulative as this King of Swords and playing games. And it's going to be some type of toxic cycle. That'll come out. But for a lot of you, you have a lot of love options here. A lot of work options. Friendship on the board here. Business partnerships. Everything coming together for you. And good news coming in. Knight of Swords. Knight, nine of Coins. You are single only and status only. Okay? You have all these options. Three of Coins. Knight of Swords. Nine of Coins in the reverse. You're only single by choice. The star. Everybody's looking at you. We got... The moon here, we have the star, Aquarius energy. This is you getting everything that you want right now, okay? Focusing on your bag. Love is, while you have many love options, a lot of you just aren't focused on it, are not focused on it. You're dating, courting these people, but giving, giving any type of commitment away, you just, don't, you just don't have it in you. You're not trying to deal with the stress of all that with this nine of swords. But dating... These people getting to kind of know you, but you keeping them at a distance and kind of having to watch you, you being mysterious, Sagittarius, you know, telling them to text you when they have a free minute. Maybe you'll get back with them. Maybe you won't, but you're moving. You got things to do. You're not letting these people hold you back. You're not fully investing in anything here. Taurus energy here with the five of coins, the hair font here in the reverse, right? Not making any commitments. Some of your offers are looking for you to commit to them, but they're not really looking to commit to you. And maybe that's just what it is right now. But you're focused. you got a lot of good things coming to you. That's been in several of your readings. Again, check out your sun, moon, rising, and some of your past readings from the last, you know, 24, 72 hours. But Sagittarius, everything is looking good. Everything is looking good. You have love options, work options. You're being selfish, replenishing your cup. Everything's paying off, baby. Hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know it resonated for you. Let me know where you're watching from. Drop these individual signs if you know them. Um... Subscribe, check out your sun, moon, and rising. Find me on Instagram. Reach out to me for a personal reading and Sagittarius family. I'll be checking in with you soon. Keep it real.